Perhaps you didn't know. Hand cranking the crankshaft was the recommended way to start a tank in very cold weather. The vehicle also had an electric starter motor, but World War II batteries often fail. The rear hand crank spins a heavy flywheel. When it reaches sufficient speed, a pin is engaged to couple it to the crankshaft, turning the pistons and firing the engine. This way, even with weak or flat batteries, starting was still possible. A tank using a 38-liter V12 can consume about 500 liters of gasoline per 100 kilometers on dirt roads. Moreover, this engine block is old. It sat motionless inside the tank for 28 years. They dismantled it completely, cleaned out sludge, replaced bearings and seals, overhauled the ignition and fuel systems, and checked the water pump. After testing, they installed it in a restored chassis and made it ready to run safely before the public.